So if you're tired of not being able to see your prints because of poor lighting on the K1 Max and you want your printer to look like a Yankee Stadium on a Saturday night, then you've got to get rid of this thing. This is literally six LEDs for your whole K1 Max. And it's right here in the front of your machine, right behind the Creality logo. And it's not providing enough light for your 3D prints. So if you've ever wondered why your time lapse or your camera shots look horrible in your K1 Max, well, this right here, get rid of that shit. So as you can see, your LED bar is right here behind the Creality logo. Now, you don't have to necessarily uninstall this LED bar. You just need to unplug this two pin connector that's connected right here. That's all you need to do. Now I took mine off and it was very hard to get off. You will need a flathead screwdriver. Once you get this down like that, you can just unplug your two pin connector and you'll be left with this right here. So I'm gonna show you what I did to solve the low light issue on the Creality K1 series 3D printers. So I created this light kit that's a plug and play solution for the Creality K1 series machines. Now you simply need to unplug the existing LED bar that's in there and plug in the two pin connector to the LED light kit that I made. Now for those of you who are a little more DIY hands-on and comfortable with soldering and whatnot, I will leave a material list down in the description. That way, if you wanna just order the stuff and do it yourself, you can do that too. So for those of you who don't wanna just order the kit and plug it in and be done, let me show you exactly what I did. It's very simple, but it does require a solder gun. So as far as materials and tools, here's what you'll need. So you're gonna need LEDs. I chose the Cobb LEDs and that's just my preference, but these things are super bright and they are very good quality. Now for the K1 series machines, you will need this two pin connector. And uh, if you buy these on Amazon, it comes with the male and the female. And that's what that looks like. Now you will also need two pieces of wire. They don't have to be stuck together like this, but you do need two short pieces of wire. You need solder, a lighter, a little piece of heat shrink, and of course, a soldering iron and I left out the scissors. You need those. So first what you wanna do is you're gonna need two pieces for the K1 series machine. And on the K1 Max, you want 14 and three quarters for the front of the machine. So you'll measure that and you'll just find the nearest cut point, which is here. And it's not perfect, but not a big deal. You'll take your scissors and you'll wanna cut right there. Now that's for the right side of the machine. Now you're also gonna need one more piece that runs down the front and the left side of the machine. And that piece needs to be, for the K1 Max, 30 and a quarter. So we'll measure that out. You'll just cut to the nearest cut point, which is here. And now you're done with your LEDs. You can put those away. Now you've got your long piece and you've got your short piece. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to stop by my 3D printed donut video that I did with Yo Nuts and comment on that video and be sure you subscribe to enter to win over $500 in free prizes. All you have to do is comment and be subscribed and you're good to go. Now, because my table's so pretty, I am gonna put down a silicone work mat so I don't tear up my table. And it is dirty because it's a work mat. So I bought this cool little soldering iron at Micro Center one day when I was there. As you can see, it was like $13 and I love it. I also have a regular soldering iron that's big and, and bulky, but for little stuff like this, this thing is awesome and it's powered by USB. So what you wanna do is on one of the strips, you're gonna wanna put a connector to tie into your machine. You're gonna match what's on here because you're taking this out of the machine and you're gonna match it. So you need to install a female connector onto your light because what's on the machine is a male connector. So you have to have a female connector and you need to install it on here to be able to just plug and play into your K1 Max. And that's what your connector should look like. Just a little two pin female connector, nothing crazy. Now what you want to do is, you want to get these ends right here and just 
do that. But you gotta do it twice because you gotta do both sides. So, so now that we've used our handy dandy wire strippers and got the wires ready, now it's time to solder. Get a little ball of solder on the end. And what I like to do is just go ahead and get that ball onto your LED strip. And there's that. It's definitely easier when you do it down here. Okay, now you can see I have these two little pretty beads of solder on there. Whereas before, it was just raw little copper tracks right there. So you wanna get those two beads of solder on there. Now, here's the tricky part with the Creality machines. For some reason, they have taken the positive and negative on their LED lights and basically reversed it. Because initially, I took red with red and black with black, just like you would on any normal device and that would be red would be positive black would be negative well that's not the case on the k1 series machines uh black is positive and red is negative so you'll want to run the positive to the negative side and the negative to the positive side let me show you how that looks wait a minute i think i just realized something i'm not sure if creality has theirs backwards or if it's these connectors right here that I got off of Amazon. So I'm not sure, but somebody's backwards. Either way, if you use these connectors from Amazon, the ones that I put down in the description, you do need to swap red for black and black for red. I'm telling you that. In any case, it's LED lights and they'll only work one way. So if the polarity is wrong, they just won't work and you'll just need to swap it. That's how I learned. I hooked it up red with red, black with black, it didn't work so i knew then to just swap them and then it worked so ever since then with every light kit i've made and sold i've always had red with black and black with red so i would just stick with that it's always worked there's never been an issue but if you do run into an issue just simply swap the wires that's it that's all it's going to be and it won't hurt your machine whatsoever it just won't work because diodes only accept electricity in one direction so if you give it to it wrong it's just not going to work so you're gonna take your, those two wires I told you about earlier. You're gonna wanna connect to those. So you'll just twist that on there. Put a little solder to hold it so you don't have to worry about it. All right, now that you got your little pigtail connected, you're good to go. So now again, like I said, you're gonna wanna put red to the negative side and black to the positive side. And when it's said and done, it should look something like that. If you can see, I got the red on the negative and I've got the black over here on the 24 volt positive. So that's another thing that you're going to want to make sure you keep in mind if you buy the Cobb LED lights or whatever LED lights you get, they do need to be 24 volt because that's what the Creality K1 series machines run. So if you don't get the ones in the description, be sure you get 24 volt. All right, so now that we have that done, we simply need to connect the jumper over here to this one and then we're done pretty much other than putting the heat shrink on and that's it. Now don't do like me and forget to put the heat shrink on. It's always easier to put the heat shrink on first. So just go ahead and do that. I forgot on the other side, this side I did not. I'm gonna go ahead and get that on now while it's easy. You can still slip it on over the LED, but it, you saw how easy that was. It's so easy to do it just like that versus fighting it over the LED. And it makes it look a little bit better. And that is how you get that good, clean, professional look, just like that. Now, this is what you should have when it's all said and done. You should have this little connector right here that's gonna connect to your K1 Max, teed into a short LED, just like this one. And then also you're gonna have a, a long 30 inch LED, just like this one. So, all right, now it's time to head on over to the machine to plug it in and test it. So in case you're wondering how I get those shots, I got the GoPro on the head. That way I can use my hands. Let's go. 
Okay, so now we're over here on the machine and okay, we got the head cam here. It might be a little bit dark, but we're gonna plug this baby in. And as you can see, just like I told you, the connection is right over here in the right hand corner. That's gonna be your male connection. I don't know if you can see that. There's your male connection. And you're gonna take this female connection that we just installed now it only goes one way because it has a notch on it so you can't do it the wrong way so you don't have to worry about that so now we'll just get a alexa to turn on the 3d printer and there it is so as you can see guys right here this is the long strip that runs all the way down the left side and it runs all the way across the front and then here's the connection points right here that's where all the connections are right here and then that short strip that i showed you that runs down the right side of the printer and again there's nothing in the back because you don't want it shining in the face of your camera so that's it guys this is the led light upgrade for your k1 series machine now i have sold a bunch of these i have had zero complaints on quality and as far as any returns, I've had zero. So these are good quality lights and it's a super easy upgrade. Now, again, if you don't wanna mess with the soldering, just let me know. You can order one. My email's in the description of the video as well as on the homepage of my YouTube. And all you have to do is order it. Shipping is free and I sell these for $30 with free shipping. You can save a little bit if you buy all the parts yourself and do the labor yourself. So thanks for watching guys. And until next time, as always, stay ready to 3D print.